officials reiterate Jesse Smollett has not been exonerated as Empire Star loses NAACP award category. Though the case against Jesse Smollett was dismissed last week in a surprise move by the Cook County State Attorney's Office, the fallout continues in multiple directions. On Saturday, March 30th, Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson issued a statement to ABC News and other outlets reminding the public that his office stood. Video new calls for NAACP to rescind Jesse Smollett's Image Award nomination Fox News. Johnson also pointed out his team had approved. Finally, he reiterated a statement made in a Friday op-ed for the Chicago Tribune by the state's attorney Kim Fox in which she said Smollett has. Gallery Jesse Smollett alleged attack timeline US Weekly. Amid claims Fox's decision to drop the case was politically motivated, she said that in fact, her prosecutors did not want to pursue a costly case they weren't sure they could get a conviction for, particularly because of the low-level nature of the felony Smollett was charged with. She said, she, according to page 6, police still believe Smollett, who has since been ordered to fork over $130,000 to cover the city's legal costs, staged the attack to advance. If Smollett is, in fact, guilty, and career advancement was his goal, it's clearly not going as planned. On Friday night, Fox, meanwhile, said in her op-ed that she welcomes him. The FBI announced a few days prior that it was investigating the decision on March 26 to dismiss the case.